as a purchasing and inventory manager, one of my main priorities is, is to ensure that I have the right amount of inventory on hand at all times to meet the current demands. Future demand for items can fluctuate greatly, but utilizing NetSuite's demand planning functionality, I can improve my ability to purchase the correct amount of inventory to meet future demand while increasing my overall inventory turns. For this demonstration, we're going to focus on a single item, the Apple iPad. This is a standard demand planning report called Demand History by Item. Reviewing the last rolling year of historical sales, I can see that the iPad seems to be increasing in demand as we look at the periods. The demand planning module then gives me the ability to create a demand plan for all of my inventory items using a chosen projection method. In this example, we chose the linear regression method, which will determine an actual trend in sales and create demand in the future based on this trend. In addition to linear regression, projection methods such as moving average, sales forecast, and seasonal average are also available to use. I can also select whether I want to generate demand in a monthly or weekly bucket, the number of periods to project the demand, in this case, we're going to project six months in the future, and the number of historical sales periods to use to determine the past trend. In this example, we're going to look at the last four months. Here we see the projected demand each month for the iPad, which does indicate a positive sales trend in the future, as we would have expected. Once the demand plan is created, I can create a supply plan for the iPad to automatically create planned POs in the future, considering the item's lead time and current inventory availability. The supply plan indicates that my current inventory or existing unreceived PO quantities of the iPad are enough to satisfy the demand projection through March. To meet the demand for April, May, and June, I will need to submit a PO to my vendor 25 days prior to the beginning of these months due to the lead time of this item. By reviewing the gross requirements inquiry for the iPad, we could see both the projected demand and planned POs together and existing inventory and open PO quantities. In summary, the demand planning module is designed to reduce inventory levels while increasing my ability to completely fulfill sales orders and increase customer satisfaction and future revenue as a result.